Hello, my name is Jim, and this is your Daily Brogue for August 25th, 26th, excuse me, 2026. Oh, I was talking about by, I was getting myself into a lot of trouble. <laughs> okay, so these are things that I've believed for a long time. Um, I think I was talking about cladistics versus some um, genetics, right? So a proper um, sort of a tree of life, as it were, the proper way the proper way to put together the tree of life would be through genetics. On the other hand, genetics is not what won that particular uh, battle. So what did instead was cladistics, and that's mostly because genetics is not currently up to the task. Actually, it may be up to the task now of differentiating, but um, you know, cladistics is sort of taxonomy in general, really, is sort of proto-scientific. And um, that's going to get me in trouble somewhere, I'm sure. My um, My reason for making such an awful statement that's going to get me into a lot of trouble is that I was doing something that could get me into even more trouble. So I was listening to these guys talk this morning, and actually I didn't finish listening to them talk because stuff happened, so I kept on keeping on. You know, like you have to do, you have to keep on keeping on. That's what they told me. And there we go. Good. I hope this doesn't come back to bite me. Fire immunity lasts for a long time, so if there is a place that requires fire immunity, then I'm halfway there, and there might be crap. If there is, it should be over here, not over there. Okay, it's too late if there is. All right, so. Um, so what brought this on? You know, talking about the proto scientificness of taxonomy is not that I don't like um, biology or even that I don't like taxonomy. Uh, what brought it on was a sociologist, much farther down on the scale of science than biology or taxonomy or anything like that. Ooh, yes, we can now fall directly into water. That's a new one. Didn't used to be able to do that. That's new in 1.10. So that's the first time it's happened to me. And I'm not sure how I think it came out on my birthday, so it's like two or three weeks. Lightning obstruction, lightning right now. Got the lightning. I'm tempted for the axe, always tempted by axes. Like it, I love the axes.
So, what's more contentious, you might ask? I mean, obviously, what could be more contentious than um, Cladistics, right? Genetics versus cladistics. Well, obviously, that's got to be race. There's not a lot that's much more that's more contentious than calling somebody's science a proto science, although it is, right? Operational definitions are what you in taxonomies, cladistic taxonomies especially are operational. They're not. They're all necessarily provisional and so forth and so on. So their use isn't wrong, but it's you use things like that when you're sort of beginning your scientific endeavor. Great. <laughs> you don't use it. it. Looks like it's done. You don't use them when You've gotten to a meaningful spot, a meaningful place in your um, in science. So, um, can I talk about this? I guess the best way to talk about that is through. The idea of temperature, right? So pre-scientific ideas of temperature existed, right? There were some ideas that sometimes it was hotter and sometimes it was colder. But um, turned out, strangely enough, that we were capable of getting a better idea. And the way we get those better ideas starts off by creating these taxonomies, right? Okay, so. Or, in this case, we didn't take um, taxonomies. What we did is we took something we knew about, weight, and we found a way to talk about hotness and coldness with weight. All right, and um, that's what we call a thermoscope. Right, this is, thermoscopes don't measure temperature. They, well, they can after you've, and some work with it, if you know what you're doing. But you never had a temperature with a thermoscope, right? Um, it wasn't until people really understood the expansion of liquids and gases that you got um, a manometer and was uh, and was really able to measure temperature and pressure and things like that. You have to do a little bit of work to get that. So 
Those thermoscopes are like taxonomies. They're um, Oh, that's unfortunate. So, there might be some arguments you could make knowing things about thermoscopes, but if you just had a thermoscope, you're not really ready to do science with temperature. You're ready to start to explore temperature, and eventually you'll be able to explain the thermoscope with a better definition of temperature. It takes a while to do that. It takes a while to figure out all sorts of things like zeros. It took a long time. Um, and scales and different things like that. You wouldn't be in... Your thermoscope is still... It's a little bit better than, let's say, just saying it's hot and it's cold. Right, but it's not at the point where you could really express to people that they were wrong, right? That your views about how hot or cold it is can be shown to be sort of false or even to explain why you think something is hot or something is cold, right? You know, it's not the heat, it's the humidity, right? Well, you don't figure that out until you understand a couple of things that include um, temperature, right? That's really what you're talking about. I know what that is. Was already enchanted and I enchanted it up once more. Um, so okay, 
So try a little more keys telepathy. Lots of acid mounds, I don't have any protection. Let the jelly run around that way, see if you can do some scouting for me. Um, so there's a limited amount that this taxonomy can do. And um, it would be a little bit disingenuous to pretend that because you have this taxonomy, everybody should listen to you, right? Um, that people should stop arguing about it, right? And I mean, that's actually a fairly easy one, right? Because biologists actually argue about taxonomies all the time and they even argue about how taxonomies should be put together. And so on. So your expertise only goes so far, right? Your expertise basically only works as long as people are talking about the things you were talking about in the way that you're talking about them. There's nothing wrong with a fisherman saying that a, a whale is a fish, right? That's your definition is a little richer, your classification system is a little richer, there are different kinds of fish, and you've decided that based on certain characteristics, and I, you know, I agree with those characteristics, that things that swim in the sea are not the only sort of things that are fishes, or just swimming in the sea does not make you a fish. And that's perfectly reasonable, right? I think most people would say that's okay to believe. Um, and that, you know, it's actually better to believe that a set of saying is a mammal and a mammal is different from a fish. So, you know, we're not saying that, I'm not saying that you as a scientist are required to believe standard people things, everyday people things, everyday beliefs, but I am saying that just because you're the one who um, came up with it, just because you and your friends 
came got together and decided that you were all experts, right? Because that's what happens with um oh crap, I did that wrong. I needed to eat the mango, not the food. All right. Oh, it's okay. And, you know, that is what happens in academic departments. People get together and decide that they're experts in things, sort of like education departments. Those guys have absolutely no idea how to make somebody learn, but they do believe that they're experts in education. And this is true for other places like sociology. So now we're getting to the point where I'm talking about Um, what I was trying to, what I'd like to talk about as far as ocean of life, okay. we're probably going to have to Like this is super bad. Okay, Q. Where? What the hell is it? Where am I? Is that some monsters? So that's a very scary thing. Okay, Potion of Life is worth going back for, but it is currently too crowded in there to play that game. Um, let's see. Do I have the... I now have at least the... Do I have to go through those goblins? I might have to go through those goblins to get those other potions. There's a possible spot where there's a possible secret door right there. Okay, so there are some limits to your expertise, and there's sort of a point where your belief in your own expertise 
has just become arrogant. Right, no longer um, is meaningful because <clears throat> you don't know the limits. Right, so anytime somebody is, you know, it took me a long time to get to the point where hearing somebody say, right, you know, a fish or a something or other god damn you You know that a whale is not a, that a whale is a fish. It was not bothersome, right? That took a long time, right? Because you know I like things like categorizations and things like that, and I like being able to tell people they're wrong on the internet and stuff like that. But I mean, language is not owned by scientists, right? Language is owned by people. Language is owned by the speakers of the language. And language does not have to reflect your taxonomy, basically. Now, it's nice if you can do something where it does reflect your taxonomy, right? And if I were going to have a bunch of students, I'd say at least. You know, if I were a biologist and I, I was um, playing with a lot of students, I would say, you know, a whale is not a fish. And, you know, even if they tried to say something else, so, you know, you'd say, well, you know, maybe when you're out on the trawler, a whale is a fish, but you're not on the trawler, you're in biology class, right? And so what we want to do is we want to be, we want to um, group things in a particular way that's helpful for doing biology. And in that way, um, you can keep your uh, local means without having to change, um, try to change the language, sort of. Uh, arrogantly, right? Sort of arrogant to Say I have a categorization system, and you're an idiot if you don't use it. And I'm lying. It's not sort of arrogant. It's completely arrogant. It would be best if you didn't do it, right? You know, I'm a scientist, and you're not. Is not. A scientific argument, right? It's not even it's not an argument in any sense of the word. Okay, so this looks like a break. Try to get over here. Oops.
I haven't seen any food for a while. No, I shouldn't have done that, should I? Well, perfectly fine. Although that's all tangential, so remember this starts with that was a white or a wrath, excuse me. This starts with a sociologist deciding that a linguist had nothing interesting to say about race, right? Um, this is a guy who's been writing about it for a very long time, right? So it's not, it's not as if he just woke up one day and decided, you know, well, now I'm going to talk about race, right? He's had, I guess he calls it his racial commentator hat or something for quite a long time. He's hardly um, conservative but his views don't match what academic sociology, and I, I use the word academic loosely, mean, right? So, or mean by um, race. They, the way they think about race is fairly poor. Got lots of incendiary darts. I'm fully capable of burning up a lot of things. So where, oh where, is the place where, is it way over here? Oh, you have the ability to throw an incendiary dart rather than try the more destructive path. This was completely useless. Oh, it was right there. There was a way to do it. I didn't actually see it. My brain broke. Okay. Do I have negation? No. So there's some good armor over there. As opposed to my average war armor that I'm wearing. This jelly is a slow jelly. It's a jelly knot. Okay, that's not what I want. So you might think, 
based on what I just said, I might not be fully um, on board. with the um, idea okay I see where that is what do I have throw a And who knows how long that's going to let it take. Okay. Now I could use that as a thing. Also, we know that we do not want salamanders as buddies. Okay, let's go over this way first. You're being convinced. I think this is. Oh, I've already used both the bad ones, haven't I? Oh, very good. Okay. Um... Yes. Bam. Okay, good. I think I will never find that imp. Telepathy? Oh, I do. Oh, is that where he's hiding? Good, good. If that's where he's hiding. Then I have a shot. Let's see, do I have a... Invisibility, very good. Pixie's probably better than a troll. The trolls are fine.
Oh, he's hitting those guys way over there. Okay, so I think I see a couple ways over. Let's go this go back first. Um that's the way down, so I'll have to come back here eventually. Oh, let's get some stuffs. Teleportation. This does not look like way around. Um, so remember we were talking about people saying that some people aren't qualified to have opinions about certain things. This is particularly bad about anything involving public policy. It's completely disingenuous. You know, you think that somebody else doesn't have a viable option in a public policy, then probably, well, you know, nobody is required to believe you. Right, let's just put it that way. Um, you are allowed to have your opinions in public policy and if somebody disagrees they have to be able to, you know, they should be able to convince other people without resorting to false arguments, right? Such as, you know, I'm so smart and you're so stupid, right? And and that's what uh, this woman it was apparently saying. Um, my studying as a uh, in sociology lets me know more about how people actually act than you do. So now you'll remember a second ago I was talking about getting in trouble because, you know, I'm calling a big part of biology proto-scientific, right? Although it's also kind of something that archaeologists And um, other anthropologists do. So this isn't fully against uh, biologists. Even I don't even remember where I was reading about that particular discourse. And as you uh, had a potion of light, just beating the crap out of me really easily. Oh well. So there we are, we're at a level of proto-science and how much we think proto-science can actually say, um, which is not very much. You can't really use proto-science to inform political or policy discussions.